The first step to being a good PDM administrator is being comfortable in the administration tool. This means knowing where you will be spending most of your time and knowing how to react if something were to go wrong. I'm going to be giving you a brief overview of the tool and a slightly closer look at some areas you will be spending most of your time. Finally, I will show you how to access the log files that are crucial when speaking with support about any problems. When you expand the vault in the tree, you will see several different nodes appear. Nodes are the different areas of PDM. These nodes are only available in PDM Professional. However, we won't be taking a deep dive into any of them specifically in this video. The first area we will look into is the Cards node. When you expand the node, we see different folders for different types of cards. We're going to open the card editor and take a look at one of the default data cards. In this wizard, we can create a new card or edit an existing one. This card is completely customizable to look how you want so you can collect any piece of information. Now, if someone joined your company and needed PDM access, you would need to create their user profile. Expanding the users node, we can see a list of users in this vault. If we right click, we can select add user. We can tie user credentials to their active directory if that's set up, or we can create them just in the PDM system. We can also add users to their groups. This can be done through the groups node or in the users node immediately after the user is created. The last node that we're going to talk about is the workflow node. We can right click and make a new one if we're in PDM Pro, or we can edit an existing workflow. Workflows are a crucial part of PDM. They allow you to manage the lifecycle of a file. Half of a file's permissions are from the workflow state, so it's important that they're set up well. But what if something goes wrong in your system? You know, generally if something goes wrong, we want to get in touch with tech support. One of the first things you're going to want is a copy of your log file. Now PDM has two log files that you can quickly access. If you're having problems with your archive server, you would right click on the archive server node and show the archive server log. PDM has made it very easy to copy the log as well. Click on the copy log file button and the file is copied to your clipboard. Simply paste that in an email and you're on your way. Now if the problem is local on your machine, you'll need the local log file. Under local settings, right click and open the log file. Now it's the same procedure as before. Copy the file, paste it in an email and you're set. Hopefully this has given you a little more insight into the system you're working with. We're taking a deeper dive on several of these nodes throughout the series, so check out some of the other videos for some more information.